Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today I want to review the collapsible buck saw by Stoll Outdoor Solutions. So stick around. The Stoll collapsible buck saw is made by Stoll Outdoor Solutions. It has an assembled length of 24 inches a height of 12 inches, a cutting depth of 6 inches, and weighs approximately 1 and 3 quarter to 2 pounds depending on the type of saw blade that you choose. Now there are several types of wood available. There's hickory, there's maple, there's red elm, zebra wood, this one here is walnut, and custom orders are also available. Now for me what makes this saw unique is number one it's collapsible, number two it's extremely lightweight, and number three it's assembled using a mortise and tenon joint, right here and right here. And that's essentially one is tapered down so it fits inside the other so you have a male and a female end. Once assembled, it's held together under tension using a windlass. Now your saw blade is conveniently stored inside your handles. So all you gotta do is rotate them around, get your exposed blade. And from here, assemble the saw with your mortise and tenon joint. One fits inside the other, just like that. From here, grab your windlass, there's two grooves, there's one on each end. Move my windlass to the center. And all I gotta do is tighten it up by spinning it. There you go. You can see the craftsmanship on this. Everything's in line. Nothing's misaligned or wonky. There's a saw blade. Outstanding. I want to go ahead and test this bad boy out. So to do that, I'm going to use a safe cutting practice called the plumber's vise. To do that, Take my branch, I'm going to tuck it behind my right calf. Just like so, I'm going to sit down on it. So that branch is now wedged on the back side of my thigh. With my non-dominant hand, I can raise or lower the branch. This is a safe cutting technique because you're cutting on the outside of your body. Just like butter. Again, my non-dominant hand, I can slide the wood forward and repeat the process. Excellent. Another safe cutting practice is to take your non-dominant hand and place it through your saw, stabilize your work, and once that saw blade is fully embedded, 
I can now put my hand back on the opposite side and continue on. Welcome back, that was outstanding. Let's talk about two things. First off, one option that's been made available is a carrying pouch. Now this is made from 1000 denier or denier nylon, depending on how you pronounce it. It's got a felt liner, Velcro pouches, buckles, and, and most importantly, two D-rings, which makes this versatile. You put a sling on this, put it over your shoulder, you can attach it to a pack, or you can place it inside of a pack. Now the number one question, what does this cost? And part two of that question, where can I get this? Now, I've seen this for sale on two websites, Stoll's Outdoor Solutions and Self-Reliance Outfitters. What I'll do is I'll leave links to both of those in the description box. And to be honest, I've seen it priced anywhere from $100 to $120. Thank you for your comments and view support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the woods, have some fun, and I'll catch you next time.